Now I couldn't help but give you guys a quick field test just to show you what we're working with here. And of course, if you want to watch the Quantum VX900 in the works, then I advise you to watch the video in the link in the bio below. Now, as you can see here, we have three different depths, the 50 centimeter hole, the one and the one and a half meters. Now we have three different copper pieces that we're going to test the V10 on. Now what I'm going to be doing here is simply sliding in and out just to show you the speed of detection. And as we have watched throughout this video, I have mentioned to you that the V10 has a speed of detection with great accuracy like none other. So let's get right into it. As you can see here, I'm just going to go in and out and in and out. And now watch this, I'm gonna go a bit quicker. As you can see, 50 centimeters, the V10 detects it accurately and with great speed. Now I'd like to move over to the one meter hole, but before I do that, I will not change the metal piece in my hand just to show you guys that even when the metal piece is small, the V10 is capable of detecting it with great precision. Let's get down over here. And as you can see, the accuracy and the sensitivity is still as good, but let's give it a test with the bigger metal piece. We've got a higher signal as well as higher accuracy. Now, after some video magic, I have switched out the search coil and as you can see, the metal detector is in my hand. The V10 coil to the V25 search coil and we're going to be testing it out on the 1.5 meter hole. As you've noticed, we haven't used it for the V10 because come on, when you have the VX900 and have the V25 search coil, that's when you gotta start using the metal detector using the V25. Starting with the V25 search coil test, we're going to be starting off with the 50 centimeter hole. Now, as we've mentioned before, the V25 search coil specializes in deep detection and larger sized metals detection as well. So as we can see here, we have this little metal piece and as you can see, even the signal is more precise and the beep is higher, which means higher sensitivity. Now, moving on to the other metal piece at one meters. We got clear detection of the metal piece. And last but not least, we're going to be going into the 1.5 meters using this metal piece. And as you can see here, it detects it with complete ease. That is exactly what I was talking about. All right, and that will be all for the field test. And I will leave you for the comfortable office where you have all the Quantum VX900 goodness. What's up, hunters? I hope you are doing great. Today we'll be talking about a German technology developed by Vertex Detectors, a true engineering breakthrough in the world of treasure, tunnel, and metal detection. We are talking about the Quantum VX900, a high-precision system designed to explore the hidden layers of the Earth with unmatched performance and accuracy. The Quantum VX900 is the result of years of scientific research as well as practical engineering. We're talking about superior field performance in the most gruesome weather conditions. In this video, we'll be talking about different aspects of this metal detector. We'll be talking about the build, the technology, what comes with your VX900, as well as the core, the search coils. So let's get right into it. Now, the first thing we're going to be talking about is the build and the VX900 speaks nothing short of structural integrity. We are talking about a combination of polycarbonate and ABS plastic, which means lightweight handling and outstanding 
durability, as well as an extendable carbon fiber arm. Now, as you can see here, the large part of the metal detector is covered in a thermal plastic rubber, ensuring a firm and ergonomic grip, as well as added protection from weather conditions, as well as shock during your long operation hours. Now, the VX900 comes with a powerful and rechargeable battery that can be easily detached and replaced during your field operation. Now, a bad boy like this can run you six hours of hunt time, and it takes about approximately half of that to fully charge with the included smart charger that comes with it that can work worldwide. Now, back to the control panel, as you can see here, we have tactical and highly responsive thermoplastic rubber buttons, which are specifically designed so that when you're on your search hunt and you're gripping onto the device, you can access them very easily. Now, these buttons are also suitable so that when you're wearing gloves, they are just as responsive. Now, right above the buttons, we have the five inch display screen, which delivers a clear and intuitive user experience, showing you real-time data, target visuals, and scan results with high graphical fidelity. The control panel also includes a headphone jack for your isolated headphones, which we'll get into in just a sec. And on the back, we have a high definition speaker if you're not looking to use the headphones. So I'd like to talk about what comes with your VX900. And I would like to start with the waste bag that comes with it that is specifically designed with these two customized straps to carry, first of all, your pin pointer that goes in right here, as well as your RSPU searching unit. They just slide in very easily right here. So you've got your free hands during your search hunt. So let's move on to the most important part. I'm just gonna put this aside for now. And, and I would like to talk about my favorite part or piece that comes with the metal detector, which are these isolated headphones. that are going to ensure you the most precise signals during your search hunt. Now, let's move on to the core. The Quantum VX900 is equipped with smart detection interfaces, depending on which search core you have installed, that allow you to fully customize your search operation, depending on your target and terrain. Whether you're trying to locate raw gold, buried relics, or underground tunnels, the system adapts to give you the best result for your mission. Now, at the core of the VX900's field performance are its search coils designed and engineered for various steps and target types. Starting off with the V10 coil. Now, I like to call this coil the Gold Hunter because it specializes in detecting small targets like raw gold, nuggets, and coin-sized metals. Now, the V10 search coil operates at a high frequency, which makes it highly sensitive to low conductivity metals, especially like gold. What makes it even more effective is its built-in gold detection program that is built in in the VX900's interface, which helps you reduce ground noise and zeroes in on real signals, which help you filter out all the noise in mineralized soils and focuses on raw gold, as we've mentioned before. And now moving on to our second search coil that comes with your VX900, and it's the V25 search coil. Now, this search coil is made for depth and coverage. With its 13 by 13 inch size, it is designed to detect large objects of up to four meters deep, depending on the ground conditions and the metal type. It's designed for ultra-fast signal capture, meaning that it does not miss a beat even when you're moving quickly. Now, one thing the V25 is really good at is metal discrimination, meaning that it can differentiate between precious and non-precious metals. 
and the cherry on top, the V25 provides 2D visuals through the VX900's advanced interface. This makes the V25 ideal for wide area surveys, deep object recovery, and for the times where you're looking for more than just a beep. And last but not least, we have the V35 Active Sensing Unit by Vertex Detectors. Now, this Active Sensing Unit is the VX900's most advanced detection system. It goes beyond simple metal detection. The V35 Active Sensing Unit locates man-made underground structures, buried chambers, as well as tunnels all from the surface using four basically integrated technologies. You've got real-time 2D and 3D imaging, as well as magnetic field detection for sensing buried or surface metals geological differential analysis to identify unnatural underground features, target-specific frequency tracking for isolating real signals. Now, with all of that, we understand that the V35 doesn't only detect metal, it can classify it, estimate its depth, as well as approximate its value, and visualize its shape. It is one of the most intelligent and powerful ground scanning systems in the market today. Here's a common mistake that we've seen our hunters do. You grab the V35 active sensing unit and enter a tunnel and try scanning the walls and confined areas. But here's the thing, you cannot specifically go in with your V35 active sensing unit and start detecting behind rocks or what is underground. That is not how you use the V35. The V35 Active Sensing Unit is designed for surface-based scanning, meaning that it detects what's beneath you, like tunnels, as we've mentioned before. So given that you have found the tunnel and you go inside, the next thing you're going to do is start with the V25, the search coil that is made for close range detection. Now, here's one thing I'd like to mention before we wrap up this whole video. We have already made videos with air tests as well as underground tests using the VX900 on different search coils. So I highly recommend you watch these videos if you want some more information. Now, German technology is a must, right? And I don't know if you've noticed, but the price point of the VX900 is set at 7,500 euros. The VX900 offers extremely high technologies, technologies that are reserved for a much higher price point. Other competitors on the market claim to have sensors that penetrate the ground at great depths. And even so, they do not come close to what the VX900 offers. The V35 Active Sensing Unit in of its own has 2D and 3D imaging. We could have easily priced the VX900 at 15 or even $20,000, and that would have made sense according to what the VX900 offers. But we have made a decision to put a technology of this caliber in everyone's hands. Because the world of metal detection means more than just digging up metal out of the ground. It is a hobby, and we would love for every hunter to go out there and explore. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it as much as I did and found it helpful, make sure to like and subscribe and stay tuned for more videos like this one. Good luck out there.